chapter 4 is mentioned there that Jesus when he when he entered the synagogue in Nazareth the Jewish came to him and said to him you said you are the king of the Jews Jesus answered him you said that you don't say that I said that he said to him to them you said that okay and they took him from the synagogue in Nazareth to the cliff of the mountain and they attempt to throw Jesus to Jezreel Valley. Tomorrow I will show you that. But according to the book of Luke, Luke chapter, uh, chapter 4, is mentioned there that Jesus escaped through them and he came here to Capernaum, to that village. And the question now, why Jesus came here to that village, Capernaum? Why? <laughs> you answer. <laughs> okay. So, why Jesus came here? Because, listen to that, to that reason. Listen to that important. Jesus came here because Capernaum at the time of Jesus considered as custom village. Uh, custom village. Anybody want to come from abroad to here, he must come through that village. Anybody come to buy the fish from the sea of Galilee, yeah. olive oil, etc., he must come to that village oh, okay, okay. and pay the tax because custom village. Oh, okay. And if anybody want to exit from Capernaum to abroad, also, he must come through that oh, village. Okay. So Jesus came here. Why? Because he don't. He want to, those people sitting abroad uh -huh. to follow him. Okay. Not in the in the in the uh, here in the, our country, because the people here they pray in secret in the caves and the guard men at the entrance of the cave. When he saw the sol uh, uh, Roman soldier, he said to them, stop. Because anybody will be catched from the Roman, will be crucified. Okay? So everything was in secret here. But those people living abroad, free. Free from those Roman. Okay? For this reason, Jesus came to here. To let those people to follow him, even the live abroad. I will continue the explanation inside the slide. Oh. I don't finish. Yes. Okay? okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, I will continue what I stop. This village, custom village, show Jesus who want those people they living abroad to follow Jesus abroad. And how to trust Jesus? Ah, they went away. You see, when I come, <laughs> go to this side. This side. Look at, look at, look at. Because they saw my voice. My voice very hard. Sorry, sorry. Okay. 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 Uh, and how the people they will trust Jesus. The important thing for those people. They heard here, when they came here to the village, the people came from abroad, they heard that Jesus can cure any sick man. So they did the test for Jesus. They brought those people sick for many years and came here. And Jesus, he did the miracle. If you open the New Testament, you will see Lot of people cure them, Jesus, in Caparna. In this place? Sorry? In this place? In this Capernaum. place? Of course. And when they return back, those people with the sick people, they were sick for many years in the area where they live. The people ask, who cured this? This man was sick for many years. They said, Jesus from Nazareth. The name of Jesus start to run between the people there and to follow Jesus. Why? Because he did a lot of miracles. Nobody can do the, this miracle. Okay? For this reason, they follow Jesus. A lot of people here in, because they came with the sick people. Here. And Now, when they came here, some of the people start to be following Jesus and to stay here all the time. For this reason, Jesus, when he came, 
he stay in the house under the church there. Mm -hmm. There is the house, what under we the call church. it, St. Peter house. Uh. Yeah. Actually, it's not St. Peter house. It is mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. And he, Jesus stay here, but it is not nice to say that the house of the mother-in-law. We say that St. Peter house. Oh. It is under the church that Thank below, you when you go there down, you will see place, octagon, eight walls, mm. the house mm -hmm. in the middle. Mm. And when the people, they want to be very close to Jesus, to hear from him everything and to follow them, to follow him, sorry, they built another wall. Also octagon and also other rooms and third wall. All of them the same octagon. And they start to be. And most of the people when they hear about that, they start to be the population very high in the village and became here from village to city. city. The city of Jesus. The town of Jesus. Okay? So what you saw, the name. Yeah. So that became a town. A lot of people start to be here in that area because Jesus. Jesus, he entered the synagogue here. And taught and he even pray in the synagogue. And even there is a... Now, if you look there behind you, that's the synagogue, mm -hmm. but not up the white stone. White stone, lime stone. Below, there is the black stone, basalt stone, you see? Mm -hmm. That's the original level oh, okay. from the synagogue down. Oh, all of that. Mm -hmm. That's the synagogue that Jesus entered. This one, what you see, the people where it stand inside, it is from 4th century AD after Jesus. After Jesus. 4th century mm -hmm. after Jesus. Mm -hmm. So Jesus came here, teach in the synagogue here. And there is a study room in the next door there. And Jesus stay here with the disciples, with all the people follow him here in Capernaum. Now, the houses, what you see there, this is the houses like Magdala. Houses was completely up. It happened earthquake, I told you. Yeah. It happened here, it happened there, at the oh. same area. For this reason, most of that level of the houses was uh, broken down. Yeah. And remain yeah. what you see, that's the original from the time of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The house is there. Yeah. What you will visit here? Synagogue. The synagogue that's in you, we said from the fourth century. Jewish, when they pray, they facing Jerusalem. The rabbi will stay in the middle here. You see the door. The door loading to Jerusalem. That's the direction of Jerusalem. Muslim when they pray facing Mecca. Okay? That's to give you the idea. So that's the direction of Jerusalem. Okay? Now, you will visit the synagogue here. You will go to the church. There upon the house of St. Peter, inside the church, when you go up, there is a glass cover the St. Peter house. From there, from down you can take photo. From up inside, you will click photo also for the St. Peter house. Mm -hmm. It was a mosaic, I will tell you, at the time of Jesus it was mosaic. And after that, the mosaic disappeared. I don't know where they took that, but before, when we came with the tourists, it was a mosaic in the house, in the octagon, the small one. Anyway, what you see, the mosaic symbol of that, you will see that later, I will show you that where you can see. But you go up to the church. This is church that was built by Anthony Bellucci. I told you about Yeah, it. Italian. Yeah, I told you, I told you about, yeah, from the beginning. about you. That's the first, and here the second. Always I will add more and more churches. It was built at the 20th century by Anthony Bellucci, Italian artist. 
now you will see that you will go now before uh, very important that church if you look to that church from outside here you will see each corner look like the boat Anthony Vallucci he took that from the Bible what the main job for St. Peter fisherman so when he built that church when you look at any corner you will see it is look like the boat yeah you, when you will be close you will notice that very very good okay so uh, after that you will synagogue the house of St. Peter and there at the end opposite there the statue of St. Peter St. Peter stand hold the two key the key is off Heaven. Mama mia. <laughs> the key of air and heaven. heaven. Two keys. Okay? Because Jesus said to him, you give him the primacy. Okay? And besides St. Peter, you will see the fish. Okay? And with the stick of St. Peter. You will see that there. And when you come from that there, look to the area there, the mosaic. That's the mosaic symbol to the what was in the house but it is more big. Simple, okay? It was here and the house is small. Okay, now, okay. what you look here, all of that area, you see, you see that, all of that, you look here, it is from the synagogue, because you see the synagogue is not completed from the fourth century, because the air takes away. Okay? Now, important thing, you see the pillars here, the first one, first one, high one, at the corner. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. That's what we call it, what we call it, the road mile. mile. The Roman. Today we will put what? Every kilometer we will put. That's the road was going a three road. One beside the Mediterranean Sea, continue to the Mediterranean Sea like that direction, and we call it Via Maris, the way near the sea. Via Maris, the way near the sea. The Holy Family from Bethlehem, when they escaped, they took that road with Via Maris. When you go beside the sea, Continue all the time until they reach Alexandria, Egypt. Egypt, Egypt yeah. Okay. Escape, uh, yeah. And second one, it was going from here, from Kabarna home mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Galilee, mm -hmm. Samaria, Judea, mm -hmm. Jerusalem in Judea. The pillars, what you see here, there is another one in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. That means every mile they put their system. But Jesus, he did another road from Kabarnaum to Jerusalem. Near the Jordan River. From here, from Kabarnaum, continue beside the Jordan River, coming to Jericho, climb to Judea Mountain to Jerusalem. How many roads I give you? Three. Three. Via Maris? Uh, Galilee, Samaria, Judea, yeah. and near the Jordan River. Okay? Because if you don't also walk near the Jordan River, you will be near Jericho. Then you will climb to Judea, you will be in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So that's the three way at the time mm -hmm. of Jesus. Now, I will give you time now. It is three o'clock. Okay. Six, seven minutes after three o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, we will give you around uh, how long? Uh, 20 minutes? 30 minutes? Or half an hour? Half an hour. Oh, uh, uh, 3.30, okay? Okay. 3.30, okay. we will return back to? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.
अंदर